photographers, listen, you need to take at least eight pictures with this camera. Let's see why. The main reason I think why photographers around the world should use this camera at least for one set of film, which is eight pictures, is because of composition. Now, composition is one of the most important things in photography. And people don't usually think about the composition. When well, someone gives you a phone, you just take the phone, take the picture, and that's it. When you have a limitation, you need to be creative. When you're shooting with Polaroid, you can't snap like five or six photos at a time and just choose the best one. You only have one chance for each shot. So, here's what we're gonna do. You have eight films, and each time before you shoot, you should think how you shoot. Whether it be high angle, low angle, where would you stand, where the subject stand? All of those questions build your composition. Now wait, before you close the video, I know that not everyone can get an access to a Polaroid camera, especially the old ones. Here's what I can suggest. Now, the first thing is obviously, ask your parents, ask your grandparents, they might have a Polaroid camera that works. The interesting thing about this camera is the battery is inside the film. This camera never dies. Now, I know you might not have the money to buy a new iTech camera, which is like Polaroid re recreating the cameras like new and refined. Now, some people might suggest you to go and buy the new Fujifilm camera, which is like the recreation of Polaroid, but the difference is in the aspect ratio. Their film is much more thinner. We're training on taking different aspect ratios, so that might not work as well. Now, the second option is just go on eBay, go on Amazon maybe find a market that you have near your house. A lot of people sell those things in markets. I bought some of my old cameras from markets. People don't use it anymore and just sell it. Some garage sale maybe. Just go out and find it. But it started raining outside, so I need to talk a bit louder. The third thing I would suggest is actually buying the new camera. You can buy the iType, you can buy the film if you have the money. And that will save you up time for searching. That's it. And the last thing I would suggest to you, if you just have a DSLR camera or your phone camera and you don't want to buy a new camera, just do it in your head. Tell yourself you're not allowed to take more than one picture at a time. And that's it. You shot it, you take a look, and that's it. You can take it again. If you want to take it again, you can use another film and you only have eight for a day. Just limit yourself for one day or for two days to only take eight pictures throughout the day or throughout your shootout so you will have to think about the composition you're not allowed to take more now after you got your camera your client you need to learn this camera and it's really simple there is a reason those cameras is called one step the only thing you need to do is just set up the lighting and that's it you can shoot oh and one more thing you need to know that's if you are using an old camera the viewfinder and where you take the picture are two different places the viewfinder sit a little bit to the side, so if you want to take the picture, you just need to set yourself a little bit to the side. What I'm saying with this is like, if you take an A picture, that's it. I think you will start thinking about the composition. I'm not saying you will be perfect, I'm not saying you will be mastering Polaroid or composition, but this thing will get inside your head. You will start thinking, okay, I need to think about how I take this photo. And I'm just gonna stand right over here, snap the shot, and that's it. I will think if I will go low angle, high angle, take it from the side, take something in front of the frame. Things like that, it will make the frame much more interesting. Now, I don't know if this will work out because I haven't got anything on YouTube and anything on anywhere else and I'm really bad at social media. I want to see your Polaroid or one snap camera shots. So I want to call it hashtag one step composition. You're only allowed to take one picture and post one with this hashtag because that's your Polaroid film, that's your Polaroid shot. You're thinking about composition, which I think is extremely important. The shot I took at the beginning is burned out, you can't see anything. That's really interesting. When I'm talking about you should think about your composition, and you think about everything, <laughs> I just burned out the photo. I hope you will use this thing useful, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!